Over the next few minutes, we're going to demonstrate how easily you can install the Emotus Fuse Drive software and integrate an SSD with an existing network shared drive on a Windows 2K12 server. We're going to be using a virtual machine for demo pr demonstration purposes. You're also going to need a blank SSD or a RAID SSD volume and Java pre-installed before we uh, can go ahead and do this. So the volume we wish to upgrade in this case is our network share drive. And we previously downloaded the Fuse Drive installer software here in the download directory. So let's go ahead and double click on that and walk through uh, all the uh, questions here and, and just proceed with the install. Now this is the 30 day trial version um, and uh, you're free to try this out uh, uh, for, for the next 30 days once you've downloaded from our site. Uh, the other thing we do is cause a reboot because we have installed or opted to install some optional GUI level components. Um, up to the core levels you won't normally re be required to do this. Okay so while we Rebooting a little bit more about Fuse Drive. Fuse Drive blends an SSD and a hard drive together to create a new virtual disk, as you'll see as we walk through the next step. Also takes advantage of the fact that your server is only really using a small portion of its data at any one time. So that allows us to make sure we need a much smaller amount of SSD. You can right size your SSD to your application rather than have to invest in an in expensive all flash uh, volumes. And uh, from our testing, it pretty much gives you the same you know, basic uh, performance profiles as you'd see with all flash in many cases. So let's go ahead and uh, look what we've installed here. If you look at the uh, programs, you'll see there's a collection of utilities we've installed. E-Command, the command line utility, E-Config, the wizard uh, that we're going to use here in a second. E-Live Monitor allows you to visualize your volume and see where uh, it's being utilized and where the SSD is being placed in real time, uh, along with some uh, an e-perform utility, which we, uh, we use to be able to assess the performance of, uh, of devices in the system. Okay, so as we walk through the next steps, what we're going to show you is essentially how to convert this, this disk drive or this share that we had before. So in parallel with that, what I'm going to do is show you the disk drive manager here. Um, and we'll just uh, ignore this, this uh, piece here. But essentially, you've got the blank drive you're just adding. You've got the network share, which we wish to upgrade here. And we're going to transform this into a fuse drive, these two drive pairs here, by selecting the slow drive here, uh, which is our older uh, HDD drive, and this is our faster uh, SSD drive we're about to add to the system. So let's go ahead and create. And what you'll see happen here is the drive will go offline temporarily as we're effectively going to create a new disk 4 in this case, which holds the combined uh, uh, volumes you see here and then we blank off these two here uh, as they're no longer uh, accessible to the user and uh, for kicks because uh, this is one of the unique advantages of fuse drive we're also able to take advantage of that extra capacity and space so this is real handy if you're running out of space on the disk as well so now we've got a bigger disk drive which is increased by the size of the uh, SSD uh, in this case okay so now we complete take a look at our drive and you'll see we're perfectly preserved here. And uh, one thing to be aware of, this is independent of the size of the volume. It will still take the same amount of uh, time to trans transform. So for example, 128 terabyte volume will take just the same amount of time to convert to a fuse drive as this uh, small 500 gig volume here.